Now, the World Health Organization has sounded a warning about a new cluster of COVID-19 cases that has emerged in Beijing. In the last five days, Beijing has reported more than 100 cases of local transmission. At the center of this new cluster is Beijing's largest wholesale market, Zinfadi. Now, reports indicate that the virus was discovered in the chopping boards used for imported salmon. The WHO has not confirmed this theory. Dr. Michael Ryan said that the salmon packaging angle is not the WHO's primary hypothesis. I will be uh, I will be reticent to uh, to be in a position where all packaging and other things would need to be systematically tested. I think we need to look at what has happened in this case. I don't believe it's the primary hypothesis, but it needs to be explored. The chief epidemiologist at China's CDC says the virus strain discovered at the wholesale market does not resemble the strain circulating across China. The WHO has required China to share the genetic sequencing of the new strain. A massive trace and taste operation has been launched to contain the outbreak. 8,000 workers at the market have been tested and sent to quarantine centers. 200,000 people who visited the market since May the 30th have also been contacted. Now, 21 communities in Beijing have been placed under lockdown, and all sporting and entertainment events have been prohibited. The next three days will be crucial in determining the size of this new cluster. According to China CDC, people who visited the market should start showing symptoms in the next couple of days if they have indeed contracted the virus. 未来三天北京报告的病例数他的报告书不大增长，那也就是说呢，这次疫情啊，就基本稳定在这样一个。Our correspondent Patrick Fa gets us this ground report from Beijing. Well, there are lots of new measures that are being brought in to try and keep a lid on this. And of course, a lot of the easing of restrictions that we've had over the past couple of weeks are now being rolled back. So things like these security checkpoints where people are having their health QR codes uh, looked at before they go into different districts. Those are all coming back into play and people are putting the masks back on. People had been uh, removing them. Uh, a lot of people had been over the past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, around uh, because the situation had seemed to be uh, pretty safe in Beijing. So that's all disappearing very quickly now and authorities are, are really trying to clamp down. So there have been restrictions on uh, numbers of people that can get on buses and trains and uh, they've been saying that taxis can't leave uh, the city at this, this time and anybody that's come into contact with uh, people that have been infected from Sinfadi markets are being told to stay put as well. Uh, you know, you have to remember that the potential for this to be a, a big outbreak is uh, very high. This was a market that is absolutely huge. It is said to be uh, the size of hundreds of, of football, football fields with lots and lots of people running through every day.